There's a big thing right here. The key in. Boost gauge comes on with the ignition. That starts the engine. Hello! Welcome back to another video guys. How are y'all doing today? My name is Bert from Bert Builds. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button down here as only 35% of you guys who watch my videos are currently subscribed to the channel. Um, so we recently, or we're about to at the point of making this video, but I'm sure we'll pass it by the time that I'm done editing and uploading this. But so we recently passed 1500 subscribers on the channel, which is a huge milestone for me. So thank you very much from the bottom of my heart to all you guys who are out there supporting the builds and commenting and watching the videos. It really does mean the world to me. And it really does give me the support to do everything that we have going on here. No joke. This right here would not be happening if it wasn't for you. So make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the notification. Did I say that right? Ring the notification bell. If you don't ring that bell, you won't even get updated. YouTube's a scam. That's how it works now, because they want to control things. You know how it is. But anyway, if you haven't seen the last part, uh, part 8, where we put the engine and uh, get it all started up in this truck for the first time. Oh! stab myself with an AC line. But if you haven't seen part eight, make sure to check that out. And the link to the entire uh, Fummins build playlist will be down below as well. So make sure if you uh, are not caught up, get caught up on that. And yeah, so we have a massive to-do list like we usually do every day we make one of these. Um, and yeah, we have a massive pile of stuff that has to go back into this truck and a lot of plumbing. A lot of plumbing to do, a lot of pipes and lines that have to go places that they are currently not. So that should be my specialty as I am a plumber, but uh, we will see. Oh, 5 a.m. boys, let's get it. The same as Weston Champlain did, we got an upper radiator hose off a of 2001 Dodge Dakota. And we're going to splice that into a factory Ford radiator hose for a 6.4 liter power stroke that will connect over here. And then the other nub is down there and on the side of the engine we need to 90 and come out straight. So, uh, yeah. The power steering, oh yeah, yeah. New factory Ford lines, both of them. Supply and return for the hydro boost. Worked out really good, can't really see it. Um, I'll get the light in there in a minute, but so yeah Pretty much. Oh, yeah, if it isn't perfect is it even done of course not Burt builds never done um, But yeah, we made it really far. I did like a lot of work, I guess But so we're really hitting walls everywhere we go now is what I'm saying had this one fat Let's guy we should have a boost gauge somewhere. Recommended some new White Claw drink to me and I was just like, what the fuck, bro? Tail light's supposed to be simple enough. They have this uh, little diode. And then I ran out of gas. Wired from factory inside them. I'll link these down below in the description. Um, they're just from Amazon. I think they cost 165 bucks for the pair or something like that. Brand new. I had the same ones on my 6.0 King Ranch. They're very nice lights. Um, they should plug right on into factory connectors here and just bolt right back up two screws and that's it so let's see there's two pins that line up on the side and then you kind of have it like sitting there you just take your hand give it a good smack of rooski Lines up pretty decent. Um, now I lost my screws already. Huh? 
that thing looks tight. Ow. Oh nice, this thing didn't even break, let's go. Alright, another piece of junk here. Plug. So, these are the tow mirrors for um, the 11 to 17, 16, something like that. Uh, they're the 6, six 7 OG mirrors with the little angle cut in them. They're the ones I wanted for the truck, so... These aren't the hardest thing ever to install. I also smashed the ones off my King Ranch 6.0 and replaced those about a year ago now. It's pretty fun. Ah, uh, yeah, about a year ago. It's pretty fun. But so there's basically just four studs and a plug. The only annoying thing is you actually have to take the door panel off to plug them in. Underneath the um, window and lock controls. So door panel must go. There's just one under that. There, uh, where is it? That guy right there. And then there's two down the bottom, left and right. And I think that just pops up. Pretty sure. Oh. Yep. There's one conveniently already missing from the bottom here, so that's great. Don't you just love when stuff that's supposed to work doesn't? So, finally got this all. Turn on the E lights here. But this is, kind of, I'm kind of pissed. I thought there was a running light that was LED in the center of this. Thing looks whack. I bet you it's gonna shake like a bitch on the highway. We have to get a whole different regulator, a whole different pump head, new filters, spring and ball. We have to basically take that whole fuel system apart and rebuild it. Mosquito. Get out of here. You... Who knows, though. So, we are waiting for our fuel, our throttle, and also a new belt and a couple other parts that are also coming at the Dodge dealership. So, that's a lot of stuff that's preventing me, in my opinion, from putting the radiator and intercooler back in permanently because it's gonna be really annoying to take the fan off, to take the belt off, to do a throttle cable, and to get to my fuel lines on my pump. I mean, that wouldn't be that bad. But the other stuff with um, the radiator intercooler and tranny cooler plumbed up there, it wouldn't be a no-go. So we're kinda in a state of dilemma where I wanna bang out everything and just drive this truck and be like, what? And show you guys a nice burnout, of course, because I'm sure that's what you wanna see as well. Even though this might, I don't know. It might not do burnouts yet. We have to get there. Anywho, so there's a lot that's preventing me from actually finishing up the front end of the truck. And I still have to put the drive shaft in, 
The exhaust pipe looks like a nightmare because the transmission dipstick tube is literally going like halfway across where I want my turbo and exhaust down pipe to go and connect up to the stock Ford exhaust. So that's an L. But those are two things, exhaust and drive shaft that we can do right now that don't involve any of the parts I'm waiting for and it is very important stuff that has to get done. That's gonna work. 14 millimeter for the carrier bearings. We got a swivel for a half inch impact and a 12 millimeter ratcheting flex guy for the drive shaft guys themselves. So the trans is now filled, which is which is good. That's a plus. Oh yeah, we also have our fluids coming out of our uh, transmission line on the front up here. So we know she's filled. Kind of want to fucking make that stop happening. Hmm. This isn't a six L, is it? Crusty thing. Aircraft carrier, ignition switch. So I was testing that out. We're gonna get that on up into the cab. It's got some auxiliaries that are actually, like it's a pretty high quality switch. We're gonna finish uh, wiring up the ignition, get some wires into place. Um, part 10, we'll be getting the drive shaft, fuel system, and radiator hoses all sorted out. And then maybe 11 will be driving. We need to be getting it driving by the 4th of July. That's the goal. We want this guy up and running doing burnouts for the 4th of July. Can we make it? Probably. Okay, so... <clears throat> it's much later it took me a while to figure out how to get enough uh, basically the gauge wire I was using over here wasn't strong enough to send a signal that we needed to turn over our motor so we finally got that all wired up looking good oh god I'm dying it's so hot I can't even stand outside and it's like it's supposed to be the afternoon now anywho we had to run some better gauge wire. Hello? Yeah, this is Bert. Dude, what are you 
talk. It's only been like two episodes since I started putting it together. What? Oh, the Fummins? Oh, yeah, it's not quite done yet. It's getting there, though. Yeah, uh huh. Wells Fargo? Uh uh. Nope, they never came for it. Nope, we're making out good. Oh, hey guys, I didn't see you over there. Sixers guys, I'm always going down the line. And I kind of want to make stuff look somewhat professional and I want to have everything in a place and be functional and be easy to take apart for repairs, nothing in the way of something else. And I want it to look really good. So I think we're on track for that part, the looking good part. Mechanically, we haven't looked into everything yet, but it runs. We have like basic ideas of how we need to plumb everything up here, like I was saying yesterday. Um, but yeah, so I ordered the pump, blah, blah, like I'm saying, you guys know the deal if you've been paying attention. So we're kind of waiting for that stuff. And today is Saturday, so the bearing shop is closed, so I can't shorten that drive shaft or the second half of the drive shaft. And the first half of the drive shaft, the, the, the U-joint, or not the U-joint, but the yoke to the transmission, doesn't even, it's for a two-wheel drive, so it's not lining up exactly right, so I have a feeling if I was actually, like, ripping on that thing, it would be, it would be wobbling, because it's not perfectly straight, so I need to figure out something there, and that's a headache. With the boys, so the no police, we be the Pyrex, say that you can die fix, they stole a whole motorway, it's about time.